Let's talk about animation. I've created an animated sprite here that when I walk left and right, they have a walk cycle. And when I stop walking, then they go back into their standing position. So I'm gonna show you how I created that and uh, how you can too, even if yours is a little bit different. Hopefully it is different. Um, the first thing I did was I went and uh, there's a link on the project page to different places you can get sprite sheets on the internet. And of course, please make sure that they're uh, open source or Creative Commons license or any of those things. Uh, so I went to open game art and I found this sprite sheet, as you can see here. So this sprite sheet um, uh, can't be brought straight into Scratch, uh, but Scratch can have um, GIFs imported into it. So we can use Piskul if I go here and I'm in a new, I've logged into Piskul and if I've got a new area here, a new um, Piskul drawing, and I can come down to the import icon over here and click on browse images. And then I can go down to uh, the um, downloads and I can get my wolf sprite here. And it's very important that you choose the correct things here it says import as sprite sheet. That's the one that we want. So we click on that. And then we're going to have to work out how many um, pixels make up each little block. Now, a good uh, guess is to have a guess around the 16, 32, 64, 128 sort of range. Uh, in this case, it's 64. But you can have a bit of a play around until you find uh, the ones that perfectly put everything into squares. And then you can click import. Yes, it will replace the current picture. And now you can see every single individual frame here has been brought in separately. And uh, you can see it animated here and you can change the frames per second, um, etc., etc. If there are some of these that you don't want, so for example, let's say I don't want, um, didn't want these ones at the end here, I could just click delete and I could just keep a few of them. Um, but also now might be a good time you could go in if you wanted to edit things. So for example, if you wanted to edit uh, the facial expression or something like that, just bear in mind, you'd probably want to do it to each one. Otherwise it would look a bit weird. Uh, you may also have made your own uh, walk cycle in Piskul, in which case, welcome. You can now join the tutorial from this point onwards. So what we want to do now, uh, now that if we're happy with it and we've deleted and edited and all those sorts of things, is we want to come across to, you might want to save it to your gallery, that might be a good idea, but also I'm going to export. So I'm going to click on export here, and for Scratch we want to export it as a GIF. So I'm just going to click download. Now one thing to be careful of is that uh, if, you, if this is indeed pixel art, it's going to be super, super tiny, so you probably want to make it a little bit bigger. Um, the bigger you make it, the, the better it's going to look in Scratch, but if you make it too big, then it might um, actually like bring down the resolution. Uh, so it might bring down the, the speed of the import and it might not even be able to import. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and make this one um, maybe we'll say six times uh, bigger. So it's 384 by 384. Um, even that's probably too big. I'll just go with four. Um, so now I'm going to uh, hit download and then it's saved down into my downloads. And then I'm going to come across to Scratch and I'm going to create a new project here. And uh, for, I'm going to get rid of the Scratch Cat here and import ups, uh, Upload Sprite. So I'll click on Upload Sprite and I'm going to choose my wolf sprite.gif here and wait for that to come in. Okay, uh, and now I have my sprite here. And if I go to Costumes, you can see that I have every single costume here. And if I just press the right arrow or the down arrow, um, I should be able to, oops, okay, that's not working, but I can click through them and I can see all the different uh, things there. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and enter a little bit of movement code and I will be back soon. Okay, so here we are and uh, I've kept my movement code and my animation code separate here, which I think is very, very important. So the one block here, is just the movement code. And if I do that without animation, hopefully you can see that it, it works, but the sprite is not animated. I'm not gonna explain this, uh, this code here, 
um, although if you wish to, to pause and use it, you may, but it's very similar to what we've done before. The key point here is the animation. So I'm going to move this out of the way and come across here. So one of the advantages of um, putting this in a completely different block to the movement code is we can actually pause here for small amounts of time between each frame for the animation and we don't uh, hold up the movement so the movement can keep going uh, without us. But let's just have a look here. So every frame is going to check if the left or right arrow key is pressed. Um, if it is, then it's going to go to the next costume. But we have a little bit of a problem with that. If we just run it, for example, let me take this bit out and you'll see the problem that we have here <laughs> is it goes through all the animations. So what I've done is I've gone to my costumes here and I've worked out the exact numbers uh, of the animations and it's between uh, 28 and 36, I believe. Um, so 28 here down to 36 are the ones that I want for this. Um, now another note for Scratch is you should always use the ones that point out to the right because uh, that's the default for Scratch if you can. Okay. Now so what happens is it goes on to the next costume but if for some reason the next costume is less than 28 or greater than 36 it's just going to set it back to tw number 28. We'll sprite 28. Okay. Now if the uh, animation is, um, uh, I'll take this out to show what this one does. Um, this one, if you see when we stop here, we stop it on a random frame and it doesn't go back to the resting position. So if nothing's being pressed, we want to go back to the resting position and that will go there. And the final thing I have here is this wait block, just a small amount of time, otherwise it's too fast. Uh, I don't want my, my wolf to look like he's um, in the Olympics doing the walking event. I want him to look realistic. Uh, so you can mess around with that amount of time, but it's going to be quite small. You can see I have 0.03 seconds. Interestingly, even having a zero second wait in there makes it slower. And that's just one of the things with Scratch that we, you know, it, it might not make sense, but we have to work around it. So anyway, I'm going to uh, come back across and leave all of this code on the screen here in case you need to pause and look at it. Yours will probably be a bit different. Uh, you can do this with um, characters that you import from uh, or that you use from scratch directly. A lot of them have their own walk cycles or you can make them in the costumes by duplicating etc etc etc. Um, but hopefully that helps you get started. Okay, good luck.